Hey y'all, I would have never thought I had to make this kind of post on my TikTok, but my Hey you guys, um first and foremost, I just want to say thank you so so much for the endless amount of support and love that y'all have shown Javion today and my family. Um we really appreciate your support. Um and we really hope that you guys stand with us throughout this whole entire process. Um I didn't think that the video would you know, spread like that, but we do appreciate it. We needed it to be heard and y'all did y'all job. So thank you so much. Um, secondly, I just want to say I'm not the spokesperson for my family. I am not the one to reach out to for interviews and, you know, podcasts and things of that sort. Um, so I cannot do that. Um, but I will say that, um, Javion's parents, they, they're working, they're, they, they're talking to the right people. So, um, I won't be providing any updates at the moment. Um, I just wanted to let y'all know that I just wanted to get his story out there. So y'all can stay tuned and just follow the story. And, um, if and when I'm able to provide some updates, I will. So thank you again so much for your support and justice for Javion. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before I start this video, again, I'd like to give a shout out to Scotty Prippen on TikTok. It turns out that Scotty Prippen is the cousin of Javion. So let me, I'm going to give you a quick. So, of course, you heard what she said, that she is appreciative for everyone and her support of what happened to her cousin. And I also going to keep you posted on this story as well, because we want the story to come out. Um, my fellow YouTuber, you know, Seji Hito, turns out that YouTube has, you know, basically removed his video of the coverage of what happened to Javion McGee. And so we as content creators need to be very careful, but at the same time, still get the word out of what happened to Javion McGee, because again... I've been doing and following lynchings and hangings for years. And and so, you know, you have police officers is going to deny it. They try to hide it, try to ignore it. And then all of a sudden they're going to say, well, this is self-deletion or um, this is not a foul play. Just to not do any further investigation or not allow the FBI to investigate of what happened to this young man. So to recap... Of what happened, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that didn't see my video or crawl under a rock, Javion McGee, a 21-year-old black man from Chicago or a suburban part of Chicago, he was a truck driver. So he traveled, you know, from, from Chicago all the way to North Carolina to do business as a truck driver. Unfortunately, um, the family was, I mean, the, fortunately, the family was reporting him missing because they haven't heard or heard from him in days. And so it, it turns out that they found him hanging from a tree in Henderson, North Carolina. So, ladies and gentlemen, it proves that they don't want the story to come out. Matter of fact, they 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 gonna hopefully thinking that it was self deletion and people gonna believe that. But if it wasn't for Scotty Prippen, her his cousin, um, that talks about it, then it, this story wouldn't even come out at all. And so I would give a shout out to her. And I hope if you ever see this video, don't worry, we got you. We're gonna continue to talk about the story of what happened to your cousin, cause I, this is what I've been. This is what I do. I, when it comes to lynchings and hangings, I always talk about it on my channel, because I want the family to know we will fight for you and make sure that justice is going to be served for your you and your family. Just to be clear, so this is the story right now, and I'm gonna tell you what's going to happen now. That the, sheriff, the black sheriff already said yesterday in, in his press conference that he wasn't Lynch, he wasn't hanged, he, he he was no foul play. He was going to he's and nor, and normally they they going that's what they're going to say anyway. But dude was twenty one years old, and he he loves to do truck driving. That is his job. 
But the thing is, is that you have sheriff's people want to lie to the media, <clears throat> excuse me, want to lie to the public, telling them, oh, he wasn't hanged. There's no hanging. And they, they even try to say, well, you know, the way he, you know, the rope is, it's not, it's not the right rope to hang. All of that stuff they're trying to make excuses on, not to talk about that story or die the story down. And ladies and gentlemen, we need to keep talking about this story because to let to give the word out that there's still around the world that there's still lynchings and hangings happening here in America. To the police and the sheriff's people, they're gonna say, "Oh, it was self deletion," which we all know that wasn't the case. You know, this young man didn't just self deletion, and I'm gonna tell you like this. If there was self-deletion, where was the note? Where was the note on why he did what he did? If in the, in the family would have tell you that he has uh, suffering from mental health issues, which he, which what I've been hearing, he wasn't. He never had uh, mental health issues. He was a good kid. So that's what I'm saying. That people will try to put out stuff out there that was false lies. And I guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to follow this story. Every time there's this new story from Scotty Prippen, which is his cousin, I'm going to follow it. And then let y'all know the updates. Because I know they did Seji Hito wrong. Because Seji Hito, shots out to him, try to do the same story and YouTube remove his video. But for me and my channel, we're going to keep talking about this. We're going to put the word out, spread the word, sp spread the knowledge, because if we don't, the family will not have will not get justice for his people. So let me know what you think in the comments.